We want to empower them with the sum of 250,000 francs each for them to start up something. Avec un montant de 250 000 chacune. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Anobile, pauvre, c'est mon ami, pauvre, c'est mon ami, t'as une face. Quand je viens avec l'homme, j'entre comme ça. C'est ici que on se couche et puis quand on finit, il part. Ici là, c'est le préservatif. Quand je viens avec un homme. During the prophetic service of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, the man of God Apostle John Chi move in the midst of the congregation, and the Spirit of God leads him to give messages of prophecy to the people. As the Bible clearly states in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God has promised not to leave his people in darkness. Jesus Christ is the light of the world and whoever follows him shall never walk in darkness. Amen. There is a lady here. Il y a une it dame is time ici. for you to accept Jesus Christ. C'est le moment pour vous d'accepter Jésus Christ. You know the life you are living, you cannot come from that life and go back to that life. Tu connais la vie que tu mènes, tu ne peux pas venir ici et retourner continuer dans cette même lancée. You are living a life of prostitution. Vous menez une vie de prostitution. And today you are here. Aujourd'hui vous êtes ici. You cannot go back to that life. Vous ne pouvez pas retourner mener ce genre de vie. Come out, the Lord will set you free. Venez devant, le Seigneur va vous rendre libre. You are there. You cannot go back like this. Vous êtes ici. Continue with that life after receiving blessing here. You cannot go back to that kind of life. Après avoir reçu la bénédiction ici, vous ne pouvez pas retourner mener ce genre de vie. Venez devant, le Seigneur veut vous libérer. Okay, it is time for change. So come out. C'est le moment de changement. Venez devant, s'il vous plaît. Ma peine, j'ai Nadine Patricia. Mais je fais la vie de dehors. I'm called Mengeli. I'm, I'm the one doing prostitution. J'ai commencé à faire ça quand je suis quitté dans mon foyer. Ça fait des années. Je dors avec la chaîne Man of God TV. Man of God, she said she started doing this prostitution when she separated from the husband and she have nowhere to go. Plus de 10 ans que je n'ai pas vu mes enfants, je n'ai pas vu ma famille. Et j'ai donc décidé que il y a le vrai Dieu qui est sorti dans mon vie, dans mon propre pays. Il faut que je vienne. Je viens aussi voir le vrai Dieu là qui est sorti. So she's living in Chad and it's for, for, for 10 years that she have not seen the children. And she decided to come here because she had been seeing the Ark of God Covenant Ministry. And she know that God has empower his servant here in Cameroon. Okay, look at me. Out! 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 I command your evil spirit out. So, pardon. be cast out. Pardon, man of God. Soit chassé d'elle. Chers téléspectateurs, continuez de regarder votre écran. Regardez, l'armée céleste est là. Le Saint Esprit est en mouvement. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Portez la délivrance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Il est écrit et déclare une chose et tu verras ce In the name of Jesus Christ. Elle est libre au nom de Jésus Christ et acclamée très fort pour la manifestation. Au nom de Jésus Christ. Merci Seigneur. So she's free. Elle est déclarée libre au nom de Jésus Christ. Je m'appelle Jiméli Nadine et ce qui m'amène 
à Acom. C'est le problème de la position que je fais. Et j'étais à Acom dimanche passé. Quand j'étais assise juste derrière, Manogora a dit il y a une femme ici derrière, elle fait la vie de dehors. Quand il m'a localisé, il a prié pour moi, il m'a délivré. Et maintenant, aujourd'hui, je suis bien, je suis à l'aise. Je ne fais plus la prostitution. Donc, j'étais déjà fatiguée, je ne voudrais plus faire la vie de dehors. Et j'ai donc décidé de chercher la face de Dieu. Et je me suis retrouvée à Akon. Je faisais la prostitution. Et depuis que Manogot, apôtre Njonchu, m'a délivrée, je n'ai plus l'envie de faire cette vie que je menais d'abord avant. C'est tout fini dans mon cœur, je ne veux plus le faire. Ça me fait tellement mal de continuer à faire ce genre de, ce genre de vie que je mène. Et puis, parfois, je parviens même à pleurer moi seule dans la chambre pour demander qu'est-ce qui m'arrive. Est-ce qu'un jour, il peut aussi devenir comme les autres Mais par la grâce de Dieu, aujourd'hui, Apôtre Njonchi m'a aidé aujourd'hui. Il m'a enlevé dans la vie de Dieu. Je suis tellement contente. Quand je viens avec l'homme, j'entre comme ça. Et puis, c'est ici que... On se couche et puis quand on finit, il passe. Ici, là, c'est le préservatif. Quand je viens avec un homme, c'est ça que j'utilise. S'il n'est pas venu avec sa part, je prends ma part. Ça, là, c'est le paquet que j'ai déjà utilisé avec un client qui est venu me regarder. C'est ça. Ici où j'habite, ici, dans cette chambre, et je paye ici 3000 francs par jour, chaque matin. Je tu ne payes pas, on ferme ta chambre. Et tu dois sauf que payer. Et présentement même, comme je suis en train de parler là, cette chambre même, je dois encore l'argent ici que je n'ai pas encore payé. Depuis que je fais la, la prostitution, je n'ai rien gardé comme 5 francs. Depuis que j'ai été délivrée par l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre Jonji, je n'ai plus l'envie pour... Quand je vois l'homme, ça ne me dit plus rien. Et quand on... On dit qu'on vient pour, pour prendre mes choses et si là j'ai été surpris et je me rends compte que c'est vrai. Je dis merci beaucoup à Dieu pour ce que les merveilles qu'il a fait pour moi. Merci Seigneur, le Père de tout le monde. Merci Papa pour ton gentil. Je sais que tu es le Père de tout le monde. Merci Papa, ce que tu as fait pour moi là, tu vas le faire encore pour les autres. Merci, merci Papa, merci beaucoup pour tout ce que tu fais pour moi. Je m'appelle Jiméli Nadine. Si je suis là aujourd'hui, c'est pour dire merci à Dieu pour ce que Dieu a fait pour moi. J'ai fait quatre enfants avec le père de mes enfants et j'ai perdu un enfant. So she says her name is Nadine and she's here to thank God for what God has done in her life because God has really brought her out of a lot of trouble and through the word of prophecy from the man of God Apostle John Chi. Ça m'arrivait toujours dans la nuit de part, de sortir et partir. Dès que je sors, je pars même j'arrive même n'importe où même même si ça arrivait à Mutengene à pied, je vais partir. On va passer le temps à me chercher un peu de partout et puis euh, So she says that this problem really affected her and at night when others are sleeping, she will just feel a force that will push her out from the bed and she will get up and start walking from one town to another town on foot and when she gets there in the morning her family members will begin to look for her and then they will bring her back to the house. When I go, I arrive to the house. Je me débrouillais quand même un peu. À un moment donné, un an plus tard, je n'ai plus de contact pour ma famille. Il n'y avait pas moyen de rentrer. Et j'ai fait connaissance d'un ami qui m'a amené dans sa maison. Et quand je quitte donc là-bas, c'est lui qui me donne donc le transport pour que je rentre, j'arrive au Cameroun. So she says that when she went to Chad, she got a job, but she discovered that every time she was working, she had no more money. It was a friend that she met over there that paid her transport to come back again to Cameroon. Et quand je reviens de là-bas, donc j'ai donc décidé que je suis allée rester à l'auberge à Limbe pour faire la prostitution. So she says that when she came back to Cameroon, she came back empty-handed. She had been in Chad for the past 10 years. And she had nothing to show for. 
So she became ashamed that if she shows herself to her family, she will have no explanation for the fact that she has come back empty-handed. That was what pushed her to go into prostitution. And three hours before I came to go to the hospital, when I came to the hospital, I didn't find anything. I didn't go to bed. I didn't go to bed. So she says that was how she started doing prostitution. And it was not easy for her because every evening when people are sleeping, that is when she would get up and go out. She would dress up and go by the roadside. Et ça me faisait tellement mal. Parfois, je me pose des questions. Ouais, pourquoi je ne peux pas aussi dormir comme tout le monde dort? Je fais même quoi dehors? Je me pose des questions, mais je suis obligée de rester là-bas pour, pour pouvoir avoir quelque chose pour aller regarder mes enfants et voir ma famille aussi. Il n'y a pas moyen de les, d'aller les rencontrer comme ça, main vide pour. So she says that it was a very difficult and challenging experience for, for her because all the men that used to come and have an affair with her, she used to believe at first that she would gather all that money. And when the money has gotten to a certain amount, a huge amount, she will leave from there to go and visit her family. But while she was doing prostitution, she has never been able to raise that amount. And she says that for all this time that she has been doing prostitution, Even as she's standing right here now, she has nothing to offer, nothing to show for. I said, I had my little television in the room. I looked at the TV, I saw the TV, I said, oh, man, I saw the miracle there. I said, but I can't go there too. I have decided to go here. When the man of God started to pray, I vomited. I vomited a lot there behind me. And after that, I... Yes, he did the prophecy. He said, there's a... Femme là-bas derrière, elle fait la prostitution et elle sort juste dans la maison de la prostitution pour arriver ici ce matin. Et j'ai compris que moi, je sors de là-bas même, même pour arriver ici. Je suis donc arrivé ici, venu ici pour me présenter. So she says that that was a challenge that she was having because nothing was moving and her family had not seen her for the past 10 years. Nobody's aware that she's in Cameroon. And she was doing it, this prostitution to raise money so that she can go and take care of her children. But up to now, she has not been able to raise anything and even she's still owing rent. So when you could not raise anything out of this, can you not leave it? Je ne pouvais pas arrêter, mais parce que je n'avais pas toujours quelque chose en main, entre mes mains pour pouvoir dire je ne fais plus la vie de dehors. So she says that she could not stop the uh, prostitution because she had not no money with her that would enable her to start another business. So that was why she kept on doing prostitution. And still now, you have nothing to show to your family. Jusqu'à yeah. présent, tu n'as rien à présenter. Oui. Man, oh God. And now they have seen you now. What will you do? Et maintenant, ils t'ont vu. Et qu'est-ce que tu God. vas faire? Je suis content. Je suis fier. Je suis fier. So she says that the difference now is that now she's happy and she's free from within. That is what is giving her... Clap for Jesus. That is just what I wanted to hear. She is free from guilt, condemnation. When you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you'll be free from guilt. Quand vous recevez le Seigneur Jésus comme votre sauveur, Inferiority complex. vous êtes libéré de la culpabilité et du complexe. Condemnation. De la condamnation. She says she's happy now. Elle and she's free in her spirit. Elle exprime sa joie maintenant et elle a l'esprit libre. That is to tell you that something has touched her. C'est pour vous dire que quelque chose s'est passé en elle. Something has entered her and something has left her. Quelque chose est rentré en elle et quelque chose a quitté son corps. Présentement, je suis chez l'homme de Dieu. Je dors comme un bébé. Je me réveille, je mange. Le midi, je mange. Le soir, je mange. Je dors. On me réveille, que viens manger. Je me réveille, je mange. So she says that now the difference is that she is free and she has discovered that she has put on weight and she's fine. And since the man of God has been taking care of her and now she's no more doing that uh, uh, prostitution again. She's sleeping now freely and she's okay. Depuis que l'homme de Dieu a prié pour moi, je ne regarde plus les hommes. Je suis tranquille maintenant. What is the difference between the life before and the life now? Quelle est la différence entre ton passé et ton présent? 
maintenant je suis bien. Je suis bien, je suis à l'aise. Je ne réfléchis plus. Parce que je réfléchissais au moins 100 fois par jour au point où que j'ai eu les, les, les problèmes des nerfs. Mais présentement, je suis bien. Je, je ris parce que depuis 15 ans, je ne ris pas. On parle, je ne ris pas. Je réfléchis jusqu'à aujourd'hui. Mais aujourd'hui, je ris bien même. So she says that before she would spend all her time to be thinking about how she can get money until she had, she developed nerve problems. But now she's at ease, she's no longer thinking, she's fine. And before, it was hard for her to laugh because of the problem she was going through. But now she's at ease and she finds herself laughing and rejoicing. People who are doing the same kind of job. Les autres qui mènent aussi cette vie de What position. lesson do you want them to learn from you? Quelle est la leçon que tu voudrais qu'elles apprennent de toi? Ce que je veux toi? dire aux autres c'est que cette vie ce n'est pas une bonne vie. Euh, parce que je, je connais beaucoup de filles qui sont mortes. S'ils sont partis pour au lieu de la prostitution, ils sont rentrés déjà étant morts. Beaucoup sont morts et il faut que tu sois forte pour être dans cette genre de vie. Ce n'est pas une bonne vie. So she says that the advice that she wants to give is that prostitution is not a good way of life because she says that she know of many girls that died because of the act of prostitution. Et quand j'ai été délivré, quand vous êtes venu me prendre là-bas pour m'amener ici, et quand j'arrive ici après deux jours, c'est trois jours, il y a une des filles qu'on était en saint je les ai trouvées là-bas à l'auberge. Elle elle a décidé de me suivre ici et comme je parle présentement, elle est là parmi nous. So she says that after her deliverance, the man of God, Apostle John Chi, sent a team of evangelists to follow her to take her out of that place. And when they went to take her out, that was how another of her colleagues that is also doing prostitution saw the way they came to come and take her and told her that she wanted to follow her and that her colleague too is here. Okay, let the colleague come. Que sa collègue vienne. Let her come. Qu'elle vienne se présenter. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you see what God has done? Est-ce que vous pouvez voir ce que Dieu God fait? used her to bring another soul into the kingdom of God. Dieu l'a utilisé pour ramener une autre âme dans son royaume. Okay, let's watch. Young Blanche, I'm from Batibo. The problem they bring me for here in a prostitution. It don't affect my life plenty. So I dream bad dream for night. Evil, evil people they attack me for night. It don't be for five years where that thing they suffer me. A viewers all over the world, our sister sitting before us is called Miss Tenjong Blanche. She's coming from the Northwest region and she says she's 34 years old and we can clearly see the problem that brought her here today in the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry is a spirit of prostitution, evil attacks as she has said it all. So she says that this problem that each time she sleeps at night she has evil attacks. That is why she came here today in the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry to seek the face of God. It don't affect my life. I don't take care even for my picking. It's required to find the money I need to see the money. Now why would I decide to give my life for Christ? Amen. Glory to God Almighty. Viewers, our sister says that this problem of uh, prostitution has really affected her so much so that she works money but she does not see the money that comes into her hands. She, that is why she decided to give her life to Jesus Christ and she came here to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry seeking deliverance and solution to this problem. Confessez avec foi, comportez-vous comme l'aveugle Batimé qui avait demandé au fils de David de ne pas le traverser. Nous avons toutes sortes de pathologies en ce lieu. 
Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Alors, I'm free. Thank- I'm from Batibo. My auntie now, you know, he sent me for school. You know, he take care for me, so I run house. I go be with one boy. That boy tell me, say, he will marry me. So as I go, the boy, I do Belena. The boy change. He tell me, say, no want me again. He won't go marry you, country girl. I come on now, I go for some my sister. <laughs> Her name is Mrs. Blanche, and that she's from the Northwest region. And that when she was very young, she was living with her aunt, so she ran away from the house and went to be with a boy. And the boy promised to get married to her. But when she lived with that boy, after some time, she became pregnant and the boy abandoned her. So I go for my sister. So that my sister now starts to you. So different man see me again. He say he will marry me. I go to bed with the man again. I carry belly. The man say abandon me with the picking again. <laughs> So she says when she left that other man, she went to live with her sister. And while living with uh, her sister, another man came again that he wants to get married to her. And when she started living with the man, the man got her pregnant for the second time. And when she was pregnant, the man ran away again. So I know we pay harsh dream. Then my friend, then my sister came say, I find my own house. I find so as a mattress. I start manage without picking them. So I know be able to get her strength. The landlord you worry me. I would never find myself a position. So she says that when she became pregnant and she gave birth to these two children, the sister with whom she was living got up one morning and told her that she has to also hustle. So to look for her own place. So she rented an apartment and she had a small mattress on which she was laying down with her children. But after some time, she was unable to pay the house rent. That was what pushed her into prostitution. Sometimes, you do wear so short thing. If you wear the only breast wear, for stand so that you attract the man, the man picking the for cam. If you not do as so, then not you look cool. So you must dress, expose yourself. <laughs> So she says that she has to dress sometimes half naked just to stand so that the men will be attracted to her because without her doing like that, the men will not come towards her. And wait till we push me for the work. Got more poor background. Mommy died for care lessons. So I don't get money. I do the position. Mommy died where I don't get money for cargo hospital. So mommy died where I don't be able to raise money for car. Mommy go hospital. Mommy died for us. <laughs> So she says that what pushed her into prostitution was because when her mother was sick and she didn't have she didn't have any money to take her mother to the hospital. So her mother died because of that. So for how long have you been doing this kind of work? Four years. Four years? Yes. And what have you achieved for these four years? Nothing. Elle nous fait savoir que ça fait quatre ans qu'elle fait la prostitution et elle n'a rien gagné depuis ces quatre ans. Tell us after your deliverance, how do you feel now? Since I get my deliverance, they fine. Then if I did regret why I be choosing for do that thing, so any number will come. I did vex plenty. I said no call me again. So for the time I did for you, and I you take care. I, I don't lack anything. I live a good life for you. I said I the best life. This. So she's explaining that ever since she was prayed for by the man of God, Apostle John Chi, she's now very fine. She has changed, and because ever since she was delivered, the man of God has been the one taking care of them and providing for them, and now she's fine. That position life is a very bad life because you know if you sleep where you don't know, get money for pay the my house, it will say pack levy house, I you know get no transfer for come off for day. So I don't compare with the life now where I can't be for you. I look at some of the best because I sleep fine. I need the thing, I need the court, so I will go pay three thousand for the man for house. So I'd be very happy. For see the way he receive we so she says that the life she was living before was a very bad life because every time she would keep on uh, spending time thinking about how to raise three thousand francs every day to pay the house rent because if you don't pay the owner of the house will put you outside so but now she's at peace and she's feeling very so after your deliverance now what do you want to be doing in life i don't need business for should all over one place i know I work so she says she wants to go into business to be selling foodstuffs what about you? Je regardais la chaîne de l'homme de Dieu. Je voyais comment l'homme de Dieu est en train de nourrir les, les, les poulets. Il nourrit, il les donne à manger. Moi, j'aimerais aussi faire la même chose. So she says that she has been watching the videos of the man of God uh, doing poultry farming. And she would like to go into poultry farming. 
Uh huh. How much were you making a night? Sometimes five thousand. If you make five thousand, how much do you pay a night in your house? Three thousand. Et payer sa chambre à 3000 par nuit. So you will now live with 2000. Yes. My advice now for tell my friends that they are side say if you face any problem, run come for God. God get solution for all problem. So the life that life na very bad life and if you live that life so you will die because so man fit enter inside room, it kill you inside. They say there is a young man here. On nous fait savoir And the young man say he knows them. Il y a un jeune homme ici qui était l'un de leurs clients et il dit qu'il connaît bien ces deux dames. Alors, téléspectateurs, nous sommes en train de voir ici en direct. You know her? Hein? Huh? Yes, I know her. How? How did you know her? Since Raleigh Kumba, I met her start in a place with her sister, two of them, that they are, they are selling cigarettes, they have a case. So when I have a problem with my girlfriend in the house, we were like fighting, so I ran out in the house. I was stranded. When I said I saw her, she, from then I, I told her, okay, she helped me go. She carried me back to the house. She took me. I, I went back to her house back because I told her that by then, by then that woman was was gone. So she go late. When I wanted her to open the door, that woman came with a body, a, a motor pistol, <laughs> and hit on her. Asked her motor pistol. <laughs> yeah, she almost died on me. She almost died because. And hit her. Yeah. I ran. And she also ran. She was confused. She never knew that quarter. So, I believe that the suffering has come to an end today. This is their last bus stop. Ça, c'est leur point de chute. So, for this reason, we have to help them Pour cette raison, nous allons les aider. to maintain their deliverance. Pour maintenir leur délivrance. The ministry and the partners. Le ministère et les partenaires. We want to empower them. Sont sur le point de les bénir. With the sum of 250,000 francs each, for them to start up something. Avec un montant de 250,000 It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Right. Right. <laughs> Cette dame qui ne pouvait pas imaginer ce qui est en train de se passer dans sa vie. Nous sommes stupéfaits devant la gaieté, la joie de cette dame qui voit son passé. Cette femme est en train de verser des larmes de joie parce qu'elle n'en revient pas pour ce que Dieu a décidé de faire dans sa vie à l'instant par l'un de serviteurs de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. Elle est en train de remercier le Seigneur Jésus-Christ et ça c'est la repose d'un cœur joyeux. Merci, merci mon Père, merci Seigneur, merci. Alors nous sommes en train de So voir. this is 250,000 francs and this is the word of God. Avec une Bible. Holy Bible. Reprendre une nouvelle vie en Christ. To maintain your deliverance. Alors cette femme est bénie par une somme de 250,000 et une Bible pour pouvoir continuer à suivre les voies de l'Éternel. <rire> So 250,000. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. God bless you. Never lack. You give more grace. Thank you, man of God. And this is the Holy Bible, the Word of God. Thank you, man of God. To maintain your deliverance. Thank you, man of God. You never lack. God will give you more grace in Jesus' name. Seigneur, merci, merci, mon père, merci beaucoup. So give them two bags of rice each. Donnez à chacun deux sacs de riz. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, mon Dieu. Amen. Amen. Yes. So please, we cannot leave them in this battle alone. Comme je l'ai dit, nous ne pouvons pas laisser cette dame à ce niveau. Deliverance is not enough. La délivrance n'est pas assez. And for the past two weeks, they have been here. Et depuis deux semaines, elles sont ici au ministère de l'Arche d'Alliance. Now we need to get them a place. Maintenant, nous avons besoin de les loger quelque part. Let's empower them.
Et Dieu conseille les autres dans le passé. de ne pas entrer dans la vie de la bordelerie. Cette vie de prostitution, ce n'est pas une bonne vie. So she's saying that she's advising those who are doing prostitution that the life of prostitution is not a good life that it will not help them or benefit them the life of prostitution is not a good life as una see me they cry while they cry and I cry for joy for wait to man of god do I want to advise my friend the way they as I know say they do wash they do wash me now because they know say they here so I advise them for send me the wrong kind, kind, kind for Jesus because no problem not there Jesus he solve them I never ever expect that my life to change again so my life don't change now <laughs> So she's advising the people that are still doing prostitution, the life she was living before, that there is no benefit there and that they should come to Jesus Christ. Because since she came to Jesus Christ, she has been happy. She's having peace. Uh, she knows that from today, everything about her has changed. And now she's at peace. The total sum contributed by the people of God here is 916,000. 600 francs. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. God will bless in. So, this is for you, two of you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Seigneur. Merci, man of God. Je vais aller voir ma famille maintenant, man of God. Merci beaucoup. Alors, les dames ont été bénies par le peuple de Dieu par une somme de 960 000 francs. 600 francs. Okay. If your faith is lifted up, let me see your hand. Si votre foi a été élevée, laissez-moi voir vos mains. 